Welcome to Parchment Update, an interview series from the Parchment Community Library to bring your community closer to you. I'm Karen Woodworth, Library Ambassador. Joining me today is Deanna Phillips. She's the chairperson for the fifth annual Cornhole Tournament at this summer's Kindleberger Festival. Thank you for being here today. Thank you, Karen. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, both the Professional Tournament and the Backyard Social Division Tournament are scheduled for 11 a.m. on Sunday, July 14th. Where can people find the tournaments and how do they work? Okay, so if you want to find the tournament as an observer, we will be on the Lower Diamonds at Kindleberger Park. Um, so it's easy to access. You can bring a lawn chair bring a tent if it's sunny, an umbrella, and just sit and enjoy us. If you're looking to sign up, you're going to want to go to the Parchment City's website. You're going to scroll down, and you're going to look for the cornhole link, and you'll just sign into that. You'll pick your team name. You'll pay, and then you'll join us that morning. Sign-ups are super easy. So is registering. Okay, sounds good. And do the, um, the tournaments all run at the same time, or how does that work? Yeah, we do. So we have everybody sign in at 1030. Um, they can start warming up. They're given a half an hour. It allows us to do basically a roll call of the teams, make sure everybody's accounted for. And then we put them in the bracket system and then we start play at 11. So we have certain boards that are assigned to the competitive division and certain boards that are assigned to the backyard social. Everybody's running at the same time. They just go at different paces. Okay, well, please tell us a little bit more about the divisions for the tournaments and the prizes that are offered. Okay, so the divisions are the backyard socials. So that's more your game that you would typically see playing in somebody's backyard or graduation party. It's common at weddings now. Um, that's going to be somebody that doesn't play on league level. So truly backyard social. The competitive division is going to be people that are playing on a league, maybe on a regular basis, or if you're backyard social and you just want to step up your game and compete, try a little harder, whatever, it's all good. We'll move you up, but we won't move anybody down. Um, the prizes, I'm really honored to be able to provide all of the money that's paid out on that day. It's just under $2,000. Um, I do that through setting aside money from every closing that I have within the community so that all of the proceeds that come in from registrations go directly to the festival. And so the payout for the professionals is 500, 300, and 150. And the payout for the backyard social is 300, 200, and 100. And then we even have a fun little division called the toilet plunger division. And that's if somebody hasn't won a single game, they can play in that and they're going to get prizes as well, cash and gift cards. I have a feeling if I signed up to participate, that would be the division I would end up in. <laughs> Me too. Me too. I have to be honest. I, I don't play, but I do run the tournament. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> well, it does sound like a lot of fun. How can people put a team together to compete and how many people are on a team? Great question. So we don't um, bring singles in and try to match people up day of. You do have to be a team. So simply, you know, if you and I wanted to play, we'd just sign up, we'd have a team name, we'd make our payment and show up together. Um, it is truly that simple. So you have to have a partner. We don't partner you up. Okay. Well, this will be the fifth annual tournament. Um, so I want to ask you what has changed over the years and what are some of your favorite memories from past tournaments? I think what's changed the most is just seeing the growth in it and the camaraderie of the community and the people that come to play. Um, it's, you know, even though there's a competitive division, it's not, they're not competitive in personality and in nature. And also like just seeing the diversity of people that it brings in, people that maybe know each other, maybe don't know each other, but they all seem like friends by the end of the day. And I'd have to say one of my favorite moments is a, a photo that my husband took up on top of Scouts Hill that showed all of the players all in a line. And we took up the whole lower level of the diamonds. And so that was just a really fun moment to see the growth of the program. That does sound fantastic to see that from Scouts Hill. Um, well, I just want to acknowledge again that you're providing all the prize money for this um, so that the registration money can go straight to the Kindleberger Festival. I think that's that's really wonderful. And um, it, I know we're all grateful that you're able to do that. Um, before we wrap up today, what else would you like us to know? 
just that it's a family friendly event. Um, if you you know don't want to play this year and you want to come down and take a look and see how it's run and see what people have to do, come join us. Uh, we do have a lot of people that'll just gather around or go up to Scouts Hill and take a look from a, a, above. That's that's a beautiful view. Um, it's really about just filling an opportunity for the festival week uh, where there wasn't really anything happening and it's taking off. So uh, we're done before the plays start. Um, again, family friendly, come on down, say hi, stay as long as you want. We'd love to see some more people come down. Okay, and are there food trucks out there in the park during the cornhole tournaments? There are not currently any scheduled. That always seems to be a challenge for us because we're coming off of a big week with a lot of different things going on um, in Southwest Michigan. So by the time we get to Sunday, most of them don't have the supplies to meet the need. Um, but we do have local restaurants that will deliver. Um, so you can always place an order right there at the park and they'll they'll deliver something to you. Well, that's good to know. So um, you can come out and make a whole day of it, be at the yeah. cornhole tournaments, have some lunch, and then go to the play in the afternoon. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking the time today to tell us about this. You're welcome. Thanks for having me.